I obviously would not be sitting in this chair without my seed trip. I came on the seed trip uh, in 2022, so between my junior and senior year at Hope. Seed trip started in the summer of 2017 to allow student athletes from different teams to come together um, to do mission. Clean water and sports kind of coming together for our students to get transformational experiences then in their faith and in community. For me, it was right up my alley. It was sports and clean water, which is everything that I want to do. I had several encounter moments during my seed trip on, like during worship, or I connected with one of my basketball teammates, Mallory, and we were talking about just how like, we are so worthy of God's love. And it was like, in this moment, it was like, I am worthy of his love. And it was the first time I had that like, revelation. And since then, I haven't looked back. It changed my mindset a lot. I came here and really noticed how much joy a lot of these kids had just playing sports and, and being around. And it really made me think about why I'm playing my sport. I play my sport because I love it. But in golf, it's really easy to, to compare yourself to others. So that made me take a step back and say, OK, I play golf because I love it. I have one season left of golf, and I'm not nearly good enough to be a professional. So this is it. I need to enjoy it. And so that got me to be on the course and worry about myself play for God. I would write A01 on all of my golf balls, which stands for audience of one. The only person that actually matters that's watching is God, and he's proud of me that I'm using my abilities to glorify him. And because of that, I actually had my best season that I had in my four years. With Mallory, we were like, we had this powerful experience. How do we get our team on board and rally us and like push us forward? So we started Bible studies, just like bringing the light of Jesus into our team, I think, and we were very intentional about it. So I lead the team at Poetis in Choma, Zambia. We run a ministry, we have a staff of about 35 people, and our goal is to see our entire city transformed by the revelation of who Jesus is, the person Jesus, and by the power of His Holy Spirit. And we really believe that Jesus transforms everything, every area of life. He doesn't just care about our spiritual life, but all of life. So many lives just transformed by meeting Him, the man Jesus, because He's better than everything, and we just want to see Him known. In my first year at Hope College coaching, uh, Abby was a senior that first season. My first year would have looked vastly different without um, Abby Phillips then on the team. Uh, she was a leader, a natural leader. It's then continued to be a gift to get to do more parts of life with Abby, to see her grow in her leadership and use the gifts that she's given to um, have an impact in this world and in the lives of so many people. So I loved my experience at Hope. I absolutely had just an incredible time. Um, I was challenged, I was changed, I was surrounded and lifted up. As I look back at my time at Hope as a student athlete, one of the things I'm most grateful for is the relationships that were formed that were such an instrumental part of my life then, but are still an instrumental part of my life. There's been so many individuals who stand out in my mind and my heart that have been just like there for me and championing me. And I think this ministry, Poetis, it just has so many things that draw me to it, which I wouldn't have known before my seed trip. I was like a Christian, but I wasn't truly following the Lord. Once I was here and I had this encounter with the Lord, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the type of community that I need to be in and that I've been longing for my whole life. It is incredible that over the course of this journey, both Seth and Courtney have come from seed trips and then have gone through our missional discipleship training and then felt the Lord inviting them to be part of our journey here at Poetis. And that, that exact overlap is what they're running hard in. So Seth is leading our justice project. So he is leading out in the Clean Water Initiative in our community and Courtney is running our recreational park. Right now at Poetis, I am a lower primary teacher. So I teach ages six through nine. And then I'm also our recreational director which is fun because I was an athlete at Hope. So I am officially our project coordinator. So as we look to do different projects and justice initiatives within the community, for example, putting up solar powered street lights or getting better access to clean water, getting wells better protected, all of those fall under what I do. I think it's really cool that Jesus claims multiple times that he is living water. So as we do ministry and we give people physical water, we get to also compare that to living water. 
we have a recreational park, which is sports fields, and then there's a lot of things that we want to do in the future with that space. So we're doing evening sports and youth sports and all sorts of fun things with kids and youth in our area. Actually, the sports camp that we run this, this week with Hope is super impactful. There's kids who I have photos with from 2019 who are still coming to our base today. And they have like run so hard after the things that God has just kind of touched and sprinkled into their lives and they're incredible. Um, the ways that they love Jesus and are running so hard is moving and inspiring and such a gift to be part of. Pilates has let me just be super um, free in what I'm doing and really lead it out. Hope prepared me well for that. I spent a lot of time at Hope in the lab and doing research and so when I came here last year I actually spent a ton of time in the community, in the field, doing research, collecting a bunch of data about where we're doing these projects. And so then when it became time for us to start going after them, I had all of the research background um, from my time at Hope to be able to do all of that. I feel like God has really called me into um, this science background of um, clean water specifically. And so as I look to um, provide people with better access to clean drinking water, it's really driven by a heart for people and a heart for, to see them thrive physically um, because it's really hard to uh, preach the gospel to someone if their basic needs are not getting met. I'm leading out a recreational park for sports and I have to like be able to facilitate these people but also minister to them and lead people and ministering pe to people. So I think like being a leader on my basketball team, being a leader in athletic ministries, um, both of them were very helpful and impactful. I'm so excited about the partnership between Seed and Poetis. I have so much personal buy-in because I was a Hope athlete. Um, I did sit in the shoes of so many student athletes that are coming here. So it is like the gift of a lifetime to get to be part of sewing into their stories of faith. She knows what it is to be a Hope student athlete. So when our students are there, she has a really unique voice to be able to speak into the things that they may be wrestling with. I think when you leave your normal life and enter another place, you get a new perspective. And, and that's true for God too. Like we get to see him differently when we're in a new place right? and it's happening. Um, we're seeing students meeting Jesus for the first time. We're, we're hearing God speak to them in some new way, um, which is like the most fun. I love to see the Hope students come and, and it makes me think back to the time that I was doing the seed trip. It was two years ago, which now my life feels crazy different than two years ago. Getting to watch them experience some of the same things that I did um, and getting to speak into that, having lived here now, and getting to say, hey, I remember that feeling, and this is how much deeper it is now because I had the opportunity to be here for a week. This is my third trip leading it on this side of the world and not being a trip taker. I remember the first trip I was in tears like so often because I was like, this is incredible. I'm able to lead these student athletes through an experience that was like so transformative for me. It's almost hard to get words into it on like how powerful it is. It still is like emotional to think about like this trip literally changed my life in like a full direction and now I'm able to like look at student athletes who were sitting in my exact chair and be like, okay, what's the Lord gonna do with you this week?